Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on broadband management system and in this episode we will add functionality to search donors uh, in our uh, donor form and as well as in our dashboard so without further ado let's move to our tutorial First of all, we will need to open our project which is Blood Bank Management System so I will just open our project and let's open our solution file which is blood bank management system dot solution i'll just double click on solution file and it will open on our ide which is microsoft visual studio in order to add functionality to search donors we'll need to create a method in our donors dal so let's open our donor DL. I'll go to Solson Explorer and in our DL folder, let's open donor DL. So I'll just double click on donor DL file and this is our data access layer. Let's minimize this and I'll create a region after count donors. So let's press enter and here I will create a region reason method to search donors and then in reason and reason and inside this region we will create a method to search donors so let's create a method of data table type so public data table and then search and this method will take a string type argument which will be obtained from search text box so for now we will pass an string argument so string keywords and don't worry about the error this method requires a data table to be returned so we will create a data table and return it and the first step is to create a SQL connection to connect database so here SQL connection to connect database so SQL connection con is equals to new SQL connection and here we will pass connection string and this will connect database with our application and then we will create a data table to hold the data temporarily so create data table to hold the data temporarily so data table dt is equals to new and then data table that's it and then let's return the data table which will solve the error so that's it and after the creating the data table we need to uh, write the actual code to search the donors based on the keywords for that we'll create a try catch block so try and after that it's catch and here we will have f exception ex and we will display error message if there's any exceptional error so display error message if there's any exceptional errors so message box dot so ex dot message and the last one is finally and here we will just close the database connection so close the database connection here we will write the code to close the database connection which is connection dot close and this will close the database connection and inside the type block we will write the actual code to search donors based on the keywords typed on the search text box so here let's write the code to search donors based on keywords type on text box so the first step is to write sql query to search donors so 
So string SQL is equals to select all or asterisk from TDL underscore donors where user not user donor underscore ID like percentage and then we will concatenate the keyword passed in our method so here we will concatenate the keyword which is keywords this keyword is passed in our method from here and similarly we have searched uh, now we have searched based on donor id similarly we need to search on other columns as well so let's look at our database table design for donors so i'll just go to server explorer and expand our database which is blood bank management system and then let's expand tables and let's expand tdl underscore donors so for now we have sourced the donor based on donor id but we can also source the donor based on first name last name email and address so let's source the donor based on those things so all all first we have first name we have, we have first name so let's source based on first name like percentage percentage and then double code and then we will concatenate keywords keywords and similarly let's also source based on last name so our last underscore name is equals to last underscore name like like we will concatenate keywords and similarly let's also search based on email so or email like single quote and then percentage percentage and then double quote and then plus to concatenate keywords so keywords that's it and lastly let's also search based on blood group so I'll just add the last one which is of blood underscore group let's look at our database design we have blood underscore group blood underscore group like concatenate keywords keywords that's it this is the SQL query to search uh, the donors based on the keyword passed and we have searched uh, on multiple columns like donor ID, first name, last name, email, and lastly, blood group. So that's it. After the SQL query, we need to create a SQL command to execute the query. So let's create SQL command to execute the query. So SQL command cmd is equals to new. SQL command and inside SQL command we need to pass SQL and database connection so that's it after creating the SQL command we also need to uh, execute the uh, SQL query and then get the data from database and after getting the data from database we will save it in SQL data adapter so let's create SQL data adapter to save data from database so sql data adapter adapter is equals to new and then sql data adapter and here we will pass sql command we created earlier which is cmd and then let's open database connections and finally we will transfer the data uh, from SQL data adapter to our data table. So let's transfer first. Let's open the database connection connection dot open and then Transfer the data from SQL data adapter to data table so 
adapter dot fill dt this will transfer data from sql data adapter to data table so this is it guys we have successfully created a method to search donors uh, based on the keywords typed on the text box source text box and we have sourced the donors on multiple columns like donor id first name last name email and blood group let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's add this functionality in our donors form so i'll just open the donor form and here is my donor form you can just go to solution explorer and go to ui folder and open donor form from here so we need to add the source functionality in source text box so i'll just select the source text box and double click on it to create a the text box text change event so just double click on this text box and this is the event where we will add the functionality to solve the donors based on the text change event so let's add the functionality to source the donors here the first step is to get the keywords type on the source text box so get the keywords typed on the source text box so string keywords is equals to txt source dot text that's it and after that we'll check whether the text box is empty or not if the source text box is empty then we will display the information or details of all the donors but if the uh, text box contains some keyword then we will filter the detail of donors based on the keyword so let's check check whether the source text box is empty or not so if keywords is not is equals to null then display the ASP display the information of donors based on keywords else display all the donors that's it now let's add the code to filter the donors based on the keywords so here we'll be using uh, the method we have just created so let's create a data table to hold the data from database temporarily so data table dt is equals to dal dot search and we'll pass keywords here that's it and then we will uh, display this data in data grid view so dgv donors dot data source is equals to dt and to display all the donors we will use a select method so data table dt is equals to dal dot select and we don't need to pass anything let's let it be empty and then dgp donors dot data source is equals to dt so that's it we have successfully added the functionality to source the donors based on the keywords type on the source text box let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's check it out whether this functionality works or not so i'll just press on start and start our application let's go to donor form and we have i think five or six donors here let's search based on the uh, donor id first so i'll just type one and it's searching based on the donor id successfully and let's search based on the first name so i'll type vj and donor is searched based on the first name as well and let's search based on the last name Tapa and and the donors are searched based on the last name as well let's search based on the blood group so i'll type o positive and the donors are filtered or searched based on the blood group as well so this is guys we have successfully added the functionality
to source the donors in our donors form but let's add the functionality in our uh, dashboard or home form as well so i'll just close this application and stop this application and let's open our home form so i'll just go to social explorer and open frm home.cs so just double click on this home form and the first step is to load the list of donors in this data grid view as well so i'll just create a form load event by double clicking on a blank area or empty area so just double click on empty area and it will create a form load e event but the form load event is already created to load all the donor count and after the counting all the donors will also load uh, load or display all the donors so let's create a data table data table dt is equals to dal dot select and we don't need to pass anything and after that we'll just uh, assign the data source for our data grid view so dgv donors dot data source is equals to dt and this will load all the donors uh, whenever we open our form so let's save it and after this we need to source the donors in our home form so in order to create a, a functionality to source the donors from home form we also need to create a text change event for our source text box so let's double click on this text box and create a text change event and here the first step is to get the keywords from the search text box so string keywords is equals to txt search the text so this will get uh, the keywords typed on the search text box and then we'll check whether the text box is empty or not so if keywords is not is equals to null then we will filter the donors based on keywords else display all the donors and let's add the code to do that we will create a data table so data table dt is equals to dal dot search and we'll pass keywords here and then we'll assign data source to our data grid view so dgv donors dot data source is equals to dt and let's add the code to display all the donors in else as well so data table dt is equals to dal dot select not source select and we don't need to pass anything and let's assign data source to our data grid view data source is equals to dt that's it guys let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's check it out whether the functionality to search uh, donors in dashboard or home form works or not so i'll just start our application by clicking on the start button and this is our home form and this is successfully displaying all the donors in our data grid view whenever we open uh, this home form so let's check whether the source functionality works or not so i'll just type user id and it is successfully filtering the donors let's type first name let's type last name and the functionality to search donor from our home form or dashboard also works perfectly so this is guys we have successfully added the functionality to search the donors from our donor form as well as home form so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment article as soon as possible and in the next episode we will design a login form for our application so thanks so much for watching see you soon bye bye